Now we're really excited to talk to you all. Um, we have lots of special events happening in Los Angeles, and it's been a whirlwind. Yes. We want to talk a little bit about the California Mermaid Con that just happened. That was a whirlwind, wasn't it? We got to have a recap because yes. that Instagram was lit up, you guys. It was amazing. It was so cool. We met so many amazing people, and I think what's beautiful about I don't know if this happens at all California Mermaid Cons, but specifically at the Sacramento California Mermaid Con, they are all about inclusivity and about welcoming Thank you. people into the community. And that's what exactly what they did. We felt like that's after awesome. day two, we knew everybody and could talk to everybody from a first name basis. Oh, that's awesome. And um, it was just fun to be around such positive and, you know, just great vibes all around people so yes it was so great to meet thank you, you letter mermaid yes she had some incredible leggings at her um uh, booth and does beautiful um hand drawings and so uh, i caught it on the video a little bit so um but yeah i know we uh are trying to get our mermaids to that are in los angeles to come participate in the los angeles event uh, yes LA. Merman Jax or Jax um, is helping us with our Saturday event and uh, our Saturday event right now uh, it's confusing but this is I'm going to explain it real quick uh, because this is because we have so many events uh, when we first started the event um, we thought hey we're just going to have a party and have and you know, watch our film at the party but great news is that the Lemley fell in our lap. Um, they decided to do a theatrical screening with us for the Ursley. And we didn't want to get rid of one or the other, so we kept both. So that's why it's confusing. Um, so how Saturday is going to work is Saturday there is a brunch party, watch party at Elson. But it is honestly more, if it has anything to do with all of our past parties that we've had, which we've had many, we've had <laughs> in Austin, we've had in Shreveport in New Orleans. When people are at the parties, they rarely pay attention to the <laughs> <laughs> Because we're, too, we're having too much fun um, meeting and hanging out with people and stuff. So I would say we treat El Cid just really as a party. And the movie is playing in the background a little bit and stuff. And it's to, to really to reunite and hang out with our fellow merfolk. Um, Merman Dex is uh, helping us out with some incredible lighting, some photographers. Thank you for um, that. You yes. are amazing. Yeah, some backdrops to take photos with and stuff. And Was that then, the same pictures on the Ursley Instagram too? Yes. yes really? Yes, yes. Oh, that was yeah. that was really good. Shout out to him. Yeah. Yes. And so, and then on um, Saturday night, that's the big, big event. So originally our Saturday night, we weren't going to do a red carpet, but we met so many incredible people at the Mermaid Con that we thought, uh, I was talking to Sammy and, and Jackson, and we said, you know what, let's just make Saturday a merfolk red carpet. That way you guys will wear the costumes that you guys had at the bubble ball there and kind of do an extended after party at the California yeah. Mermaid Con because it was such an incredible event. Shout so, out to all the amazing mermaid yes, guys out we, there. We were so impressed by all of the costumes that and we just believe <sighs> that they were like DIY. Like Rachel's bubble gala. Oh my gosh. The coolest thing I had ever seen. I I was like, where do you buy that? She's like, oh, I made it. Regal like, beauty. I like that. So it was like awesome. these bubbles that were like this incredible throne thing. I, I would love to hire Rachel in the future. If I had a Hi, party to be able to make an original, um, like cool wardrobe costume thing for the red carpet because it was like um believable really cool so um yes so that's what we want we want to make sure that um you guys have your own merfolk uh red carpet night and uh, that will be our saturday it's very literally doing this specially for you guys um 
Saturday Murph of uh, standing at the level to watch it properly because yeah, it, you know, watching it El Cid, you can see it, but like, let's be real, we're all just there to in the theaters drink, is where so. you need to see it. Yeah. <laughs> drink and hang out with each other. So we'll you know eat, drink, hang out with each other, have a reunion party, and then we'll go and properly watch the film. Hi, Sammy. Um, that's that's well, why there are two events. So I want I really want the Saturday El Cid party to be a reunion. Um, or like we can't get enough of the California Marie Con, so we should hang out party. Saturday. So if you can show me, and actually Mermaid, Mermaid Tempest did this, um, uh, if you can show us that you are coming to any Glenly screening, so you should go to the Saturday one because it seems like a lot of the mermaids are going there. Um, if you show me that you bought a ticket at the Lemley, I will comp your ticket for the uh, El Cid party so that, so that you don't have to buy two. So we're just excited to have you guys there and um, to, to hang out. And yes, yes that is very convenient. That is what it is. It's literally the after party to the party. There is still a red carpet event. I I, I somehow did not yes. get to scroll on Friday. Yes, so there is a red carpet event. Yes. For both. So Friday is for humans and, <laughs> and Sammy. Because <laughs> I know Sammy can go, you can't do um the saturday day so yes so, so, sammy you get to sit with us um you lucked out because the some of the cast and crew that were originally supposed to come um on friday right day, so you have you have a, you have spots next to the cast and crew um but uh saturday technically oh my god you go. <laughs> of course you are sammy <laughs> um <laughs> but saturday is the mermaid merfolk red carpet party so um well perfect oh good see yeah so you'll be there friday perfect mamita will and i'll see you friday yes and then give me all the final exams okay Bye, oh Super good luck good yes luck. we met her at our screening <clears throat> Treeport. um she's the only treeport mermaid which is nuts she needs you guys and she needs the california mermaid con pod um Anyway, yeah, so we're just, we're so excited to have you guys. Oh, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Okay. Oh, we're going to see you. Okay, we're going to see you at, in Portland. So, um, but yeah, we have some cool things. I was able to convince Merman, the Mermaid Wrangler photographer, to come. Oh, yeah. So he will be there uh, taking photos of El Cid. Um, I have another photographer that is covering also um, Saturday night as well. It's good to see you too, Rachel. Um, and so uh, we have so photos. much mermaid love. I love this in the chat. Great. Right. Shout really out is. to everybody. Yes. Thank you guys Thank for you the so love. Much. In such a short time frame. They subscribe so to the podcast. Welcome. Subscribe to the Get yes. Reels podcast. Yeah, we are we are now mermaids as well. Well, I, 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 I've always wanted to be <laughs> one. <laughs> um, yes, but uh, we've been getting some incredible reviews too. So they keep sending them to me and I keep um, seeing them randomly and they're being like, oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, we're getting some really cool reviews which we're really excited about. Yeah. Or a lot of the film. So it's not just you guys. It's for real. People think the film. And in the UK, there's people in the UK already talking about our film if you guys aren't aware. So. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, people yeah. in the UK, we're going people international, in the UK baby? are already asking when can they see it. So. Stop! Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ursley is international. Yes, Ursley or will be. Whether you like it or not. Ursley is now international mermaid of mystery. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes darling. Yes. Yes. Get out of here, yes. Austin Powers. <laughs> oh. Yes, it was so great meeting everybody. Uh, but like, that's awesome. It was. We were so tired from it, but it was so fun. Um, I just wish we could up our wardrobe game significantly because everybody was dressed to the nine like to the t it was amazing just thank you sammy yeah just the um, people's (gasps) uh just creativity and design oh my gosh and everything did Uh, you read that that's incredible 
Oh, that's awesome. He's Yay. like, yeah, the UK hey. asked. Oh, oh. Yes. So do what Shout out to the UK too. people. Let's go. On um, iTunes or Apple TV. It's the same damn thing. I don't know why they make it. Yeah, same. it's guys. Yeah. Pre-order. Yes, pre-order, because pre-order. Um, the reason why it helps us, even if you watch it, you can pre-order and just like have it sitting on your, on your TV forever. Um, but the biggest thing is that be, uh, if we get 250 pre-orders, then they will automatically put us on the featured page of, uh, oh, yay! Oh! oh! Yes, honorary member will be perfect. Layla will fit Oh, my right God. No. Yes. Ursley's finna be royalty now. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's yes. amazing. All right, that is such a great, great idea. Yes. That is a fantastic oh, idea. Yes. Well, congratulations, Layla. Don't make me cry. Yeah. But, uh, sorry, Don't I cry, please. I'm like, I already look like trash. I'm an ugly crier. <laughs> I'm an ugly crier. So the, no, the, don't. The reason why the um, 250 is the goal is because so we get 250 pre-orders and they put us on the featured page. And uh, yes, thank you, Grandma Orchid, for, for ordering it. Oh, yes, you. that's it's important because of that because once we're on the feature page that means like so many more people will get to see it and we don't have to like pay our non-existent marketing <laughs> budget to you know oh. to the other feature page so um this is totally going to be an audience driven like demand in terms of um whether the, the success of this film is purely going to be because of people like you guys like you can't stress it enough um because it is a small ass film we literally don't have to do anything. Um, it's so good though. Yeah, I was telling Very good. Layla, like when we were trying to figure out how to get to the con, like our account was overdrawn because we had like spent money on oh, right. hotels and all that stuff just to get there and stuff like that. And the fact that when we showed up, you guys like made it completely worth it is unbelievable. Like after the first day, that first night at the screening, I just knew that we were meant to be there. Um, just everybody, it was 15 people, but those 15 people, all we got, I can remember where you guys all sat too. That's how like, I remember, um, like Shay was there, his husband. Alex. I saw, yeah, yeah there's just so many beautiful people. We have our uh, Camille. Camille. Alex, <laughs> And Anna were there, and uh, just the the love and Ahoy. the film, it like really just made us realize why we were there. But like everything went wrong on my way to Murray Pond, like everything, like every single darn thing, um, and it made me question everything. So um, when I was off way, not only was our account overdrawn, and I was like, well, fuck. The second was my co-producer. Um, she had to, she's been really helping me out uh, with all the other events, the Austin events, the Shreveport events, but she had to pull out indefinitely because she's dealing with some uh, personal medical issues. So, so send her love, Mermaid yeah, Community. So lots of love to Peyton, but um, hopefully she's safe and, and that she's taking care of herself and, and healthy and everything. But, but yeah, so then it was like me, and I had nobody, is, and then with and Layla, of course, she's always uh, she's the rock. Um, and I was like, I don't know what I want to do. Nikki, who, who you all know, <laughs> buy in and help us out. Shout out. Like it was all literally falling apart when we were on our way to California for recon, and like just the love that we felt this weekend. And meeting everybody in person and talking about the film and just like getting to know you guys and getting to know the Murray community really solidified why yeah. and made it worthwhile being there. And so the talent and the love like was Rachel California Murray Convention have done an incredible job creating an environment where I think I think everybody was just happy. And, it, and the reason I was just talking to Layla and Nikki is like everybody's happy because nobody's there judging anybody. Yeah. Everybody can be who they want. They can dress however they want. They can identify as whoever they want. We're just like we get to live and be children essentially mm-hmm. for that whole week of just like let's let's dress up. Let's um, 
you know, play in the water with our friends and just swim around and have fun. And that's like, that's freeing and it's, it's beautiful. Um, thank you so much. We're so excited. Um, but, but yeah, well, hopefully Bye, you create a tiny sliver of that experience <clears throat> again this weekend for you guys in Los Angeles. So um, I'm, I'm so looking forward to getting pictures of all of you guys, um, just talking with you, all of you guys. And yeah, yeah first year struggles. Yeah, <laughs> I know your stories are so great. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's nothing compared to your struggles though. Yeah, yes. Oh yeah, thank you so much for pre-order. Oh, thank you for the pre-order. Thank you, yes. thank you yes. so much. We appreciate it so much. Yes, uh, please tell your friends too. Tell, tell the world so that they know like, hey, we want content that showcases women empowerment and diversity. Yes. And, and sweet and cool mermaids. And yay, you'll be there for yes, the so This is so yay. exciting. Yay. I'm so excited to see you guys. Um, yes. So, so an LGBTQ, uh, LGBTQ community in such a positive light. Like, we just, we want content like that. And because we don't have a way to fight with money because we don't have it, we're going to fight with like numbers and mm -hmm. people and showing like, hey, we're small but strong and not silent community that wants this content and we're going to tell the world about it. And the best way to do it is to show up. It's like you guys are doing and it's pre ordered, it's telling people and everything, and it's working. I mean, I'm just happy to see all you guys here on Facebook Live uh, or Instagram Live. I don't know which platform I'm on right now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, maybe we can convert Adam, my co host, to be a merman. Who knows? <gasps> <laughs> You're a big. Uh, I can't swim. Um, I'm, I, have, I have too much buoyancy. I'm too fat, but I would love to. <laughs> You are never I'd love to. Mermaids comes in all shapes and sizes. Exactly. Man. That's what we learned. And that's what California Mermaid Con is about is that mermaids come in all shapes and sizes and forms and identities. And it doesn't matter. Yeah. All this mermaid love is is amazing, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for the pre-orders too. I mean, you guys are too much. Like this is this is really awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. And uh, yeah, we're excited. And I'm happy yeah. that you guys had a great con. Like that's that's even more incredible amazing, too. It's like we I've been following a lot of people like uh, Icarus have been watching um, yeah. creature fins for a while. Just, just looking at far at the incredible just works, just the detail of work that people put into creating their their uh, costumes and their fins and the and, and everything like the vendors and there's just some incredible crafts craftsmanship that's the word i was looking for um craftsmanship it's, yeah so there's just i've been admiring them from afar so it's, it was neat to be able to be like oh my god that's a beautiful design those and holy shit so yeah, and creature feature too at the like just <clears throat> people's costumes we're unreal. So well, cool. Now and you have your second part. Stuff. Right. Now you can expand your Ursley crew for the sequel. That's exactly <laughs> yeah. I'm recruiting. If you guys didn't know, I've, I've been silently recruiting people. <laughs> yeah, today. she does this. Um, She's people. very good at it, too. Yes. And, I, and it's for real. So it's not like I just, you know, say I'm going to do something and then don't. But like, I've been like, if you are interested, in Bella sequel, mermaids. I will be looking mm -hmm. for mermaids for the sequel, and I want to create the biggest goddamn like mermaid community ever in the next sequel. I just need to get funding for it. But, <laughs> um, but yes, I am. I have big plans for the sequel in terms of like I want it to be international. I want to showcase all sorts of kinds of mermaids. And yes, perfect. Yes, and, um, and so you be. I have ideas. <laughs> I have ideas. We can't reveal all of our ideas in the public or somebody else from Hollywood, like they always do, is going to steal it. 
So, Fish hook that shit. We don't want yes. that. Okay. <laughs> so I want to try to reach you all to, because I, I want to bring you into the um, the sequel. I already know some mermaids I would love to work with. Yes. I already know some of y'all that I'm like, mm. I'm just waiting for Christine. Yay, and you're hired. The, the Mosaic Mermaid is coming out on Saturday. Yes. Excited. She just messaged and said she's coming. She had to go. But uh, we appreciate that. Excited to see you guys. Um, I've got a two minute and 30 second brief hold. Damn. Sheesh. Really? Good God. Amazing. I can't even. Yeah. I've always wondered about that. See, like, that's what I was saying. Seconds. I want to learn how to free dive. It's so sexy to free dive. Yeah. Just, just watching free diving the is pretty cool. Weekend. Yeah. That's because what I want to do. Was amazing. Um, oh, thank you. Well, thank you. We just woke up, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I look a hot mess. Me too. I'm not gonna oh, lie. it's Merman Andy. Hello, fabulous. Hi, Merman yes, Andy. He's awesome, dude. I'm going to tell you, Merman Andy knows how to strut. Like, he shows up in a club and people, like, part like water. It's just... Okay, you fucking Ursula knows here. royalty yes. when she right. sees it. Yes. 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 And I definitely recognize that. Ursula yes. has the class. She Hello. knows. <laughs> I yes. gotta find the photo that's, um, I haven't, I'm still trying to sort okay, it. Okay, hey. I finally made it through the footage that I shot. But uh, there's a photo that I know we took where it's laid off in the red carpet and it's Mermaid Andy. <gasps> the royal like, court the royal court the royal her. court it's like the most beautiful thing okay ever. you're gonna have a watch party okay yeah, there, will, there be, party. will there be yes, sparkling yes, yes. champagne and th- oh, yes let us know when the watch party is and we'll come like call, call in or something wherever you guys are we'll come crash we'll, come, we'll just be like hey what's up can we like hang with you we'll come crash <laughs> very <that>. cool enough <laughs> <laughs> so yeah no we we'd be down for that um we'll, we'll, even if it's just like we'll just call in and say hi we're totally fine yeah so yeah now mermaid andy nobody starts like you you just walk in and people just like part it's right cool. that's why i was like oh hold on my my royalness is sensing <laughs> a, fellow, a fellow god yes oh, it, 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 yes a goddess recognizes a god a dripping cool. game recognized game so <laughs> That's right. Yes. yes. It was Spot on. Sure, really, really, <laughs> Fabulous. Sure. Yes, darling. Yes. 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 But um, no, we're really excited to see you guys all there. Uh, again, yes, yes, there's two events on Saturday. Sorry, it's confusing, but <laughs> we figured the more the merrier and the more parties, the better, right? More opportunities to dress up. So you can dress up for both. The Saturday definitely the First of it, I'll say is definitely at the boozy brunch one where we're going to drink and eat and party. And then 7.30 p.m. is the, I would say, it's an extension of the bubble ball. So be ridiculous. Wear awesome things. Just make sure you're comfortable because you will be sitting in a theater. <laughs> um, so yes. don't wear something that you're like, I don't want to sit and watch a movie for an hour and a half in. However, please dress up we want to see it we want to see the magic that you guys bring so diana diana commented on the uh, facebook live and she says a merfolk red carpet sounds like a diana's dream event <laughs> yes it is. Diana, you're <gasps> oh, out. we love yes. her yes a merfolk dream like a little it diana's is. dream event her childhood yes, dream. yes. Oh, we're like living her, we're living our little kid, our, uh, we love you diana fantasies yes or merman Mer- merfolk courts Yes. Um, yes. 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 I'm, I'm very excited. Um, I'm so excited for everyone to see the film, you guys, because it's good. Like, it's, I am yeah, too. that's one thing where, like, you know, your homies that are like, yo, listen to my mixtape and it's straight trash. And you're just like, you know what? <laughs> maybe you really should get that forklift license, honey, because it's not working for you. Or like, someone's like, watch my movie and you're like, <laughs> Somebody paid for this? Uh, who this is made this good, happen? It's actually a good... Yeah, movie. the reviews say it too. If you look at like the reviews uh, that are coming in and every single person, this is literally the only negative thing that I've heard right now is that it's, our budget is too low. And I was like, no shit. That is yeah. our problem. I 100% agree. Our budget was way too low. 
And we even got approval from a voodoo priestess for our for the film as well. Like she cried, I cried, I cried. So it's like they did so much research on this film. It's it's insane. First of all, do not fuck with Christine. This woman is a uh, like. I, I, as much I as I try to, like, I can't. I'm kidding. For her to be part of Ursley because she is unstoppable. Forkly, she yes, is. I said forklift license because some of these people need to just let go and let God. You know, <laughs> I'm a, I need sometimes I need someone to you know to mash my potatoes and give, put a little gravy on them or be the person at Olive Garden that puts cheese on my stuff. Everybody <laughs> has a purpose in life, but this is actually yeah. a good film. So that's why I'm so excited for everyone to see it because Christine has put so much work. You guys. If you could only see like a glimpse of all of the work that she's been doing and having a sense of sanity with all of this and sleep or whatever, go see it and support her for all of the hard work that she's done. All and she's the running these events too, by herself. Film. Yeah, all by herself. Yeah. Like it's, it's, come on. So you're not only supporting the community, you're not only supporting the Murr community, but you're also supporting this woman who's like insanely badass. So, Christine it's hates all this group. compliments. It's a, it's she hates a, it's all a group of really. Yeah, I know. Bad. She's probably like, shut up, Layla. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> She's like, Layla, Adam, you you both have to fucking shut up, please. We can't deal with it. It's too early. I want to go back to bed. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a team effort. I mean, this is a team effort right now. Like the fact that. But a stem now- from you, Christine. Yeah. That's why yeah, I'm here. That's why Layla's it's, here. It's a team effort, and like. <laughs> Just like this film wouldn't be here without the cast and crew, the success of this film won't be here without our Merfolk community. So it is an absolute team community effort. And we can't thank you guys enough Mm -hmm. for the love and joy and the word of Spray. <laughs> no, <laughs> Christine for president. Actually, I would be a great president, <laughs> but like rednecks might hate me. So this is totally fine. But just like I would be like, okay, everybody can be with whoever they want, whatever. Rednecks they want, will hate this entire Zoom conversation anyway. So yeah. <laughs> like everybody should just love each other. Exactly. So. <laughs> Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we just gotta love each other, everybody. Yeah. Christine I mean, for president. I agree. I don't know what that. That's what it is. That's why I wanted to make this was just like, dude, things happen in the world, you know, in life. And we're a bit stressed out. And even with our friends, we fight. But in the end, we're we're each other's right back. You know, yeah. and we, we've got to take care of each other. And that's what I saw from the Mermaid community. Like that's you guys embody that which is like we love each other we respect each other and it doesn't matter where you're from who you know who you love who you know what you look like whatever we all love mermaiding and through that common interest you guys form a beautiful inclusive community and it's it's so, so positive and just being there like gave us new light to continue on this journey because it's been a hard journey so um like i said right before the the con everything was falling apart and i was just like why what's the point that was at a a certain point i was like what is the point and then i remembered when i after that first screening at the tower i was like this is the point this is the point is like being able to connect to strangers that you didn't know before yeah. in a meaningful, emotional way that will hopefully last them for the rest of their lives. And that is the point of why we do what we do, why we're artists, is being able to spread our love and our, you know, whatever messaging and stuff and teach people about things that we believe in and in, in, in our films, what we believe is representation, diversity, empowerment, uh, love for the LGBTQ community, and just a change that needs to be made in Hollywood to have content like that, that represents reality, you know? So, yeah. 
and it wasn't a competition everything everybody was a family and everyone brought to the table instead of competing you brought your own authentic style your own authentic swag your own authentic light which made the mermaid con that much yeah. more of an amazing experience because it was like a huge family yeah, everybody was, was helping it was, everybody it was fun and we're just like we want to be a part sounds of like it. fun so it was just nice that like at the end like at the promenade we were like hey what's up it's this what's up it's this. i know <laughs> everybody <laughs> yeah it was like, hey, what's up <laughs> it was good so that was that was really cool that was really special um for us and we can't thank you guys enough that we're so excited to see you um this weekend so the summer is at friday is our opening night but friday mm-hmm. is humans humans are merfolk but saturday is the merfolk red carpet we're literally throwing it for you guys so that we weren't going to have it but then it was like well friday's cool and all these awesome people that we met on Saturday uh, at the Murray Con can't like sit next to each other. So like, what's the point? So, so yeah, we're gonna make it a party, and we want you guys to show up for it and dress up and be off be the awesome Merfolk selves that we saw at California Murray Con. Yeah, can you guys imagine that? Like a theater filled with Merfolk. I want you literally envision that, and then just to put that in the news with diversity and inclusion and look what we did look what we freaking did yeah that would be can you that's amazing in la for an indie film that's amazing sounds and looks beautiful to me yes love it tails everywhere in the theater yeah yeah oh did you guys know that adam is actually the (laughs) co-host yeah no it's all good (laughs) sorry (laughs) this listen i think we did it we just got really passionate um we didn't even do an intro so in the beginning no, of the episode. We didn't. <laughs> yeah, we just were so excited to see so many guys. This is a throwback. This is a you know yeah. And we're like, oh, it's our Merfolk friend. Exactly. Yeah, they were like, who the fuck is Adam? <laughs> yeah, they're like, who is this guy? Who's this greasy looking dude with the flower hat? Adam actually worked on the film. He was the set dresser in Ursley. He's also my co-host of the And I'm in it too, apparently. Um, <laughs> yes. Oh, he's literally in the yeah, so end of it. Like, <laughs> yeah, he was he was supposed to he's he's too busy cut catching up right now. Um with everything that he needs to do. Plus also I threw this in his lap. So <laughs> so yes. It's but, okay. Uh, well, we'll talk to him soon. Maybe a recap after our badass LA run. We'll see. Yeah. Yes. But um, yeah. Uh, Adam, any yes. specific questions that you would like to ask about the California Marie Con or about this weekend? Or does anyone have any questions? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, yeah, does the chat have any questions? questions? No, Chime in. Um, I mean, not really. It, like the dates, every, t- <laughs> every time I look at ursleyfilm.com it feels like the dates just multiply out of nowhere and i'm like wait y'all are going to florida <laughs> like wait what <laughs> what is yeah. happening that's well, amazing I think the beautiful thing is that like mermaid excuse me mermaids are seeing other mermaids and then i get reached out to be like can we also have a mermaid event i'm like yes right Hello. that's awesome <laughs> that's that's incredible i mean you're literally like I mean, uh, the next best thing is to go worldwide with this, Christine. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shit. That's it's already the in the works. UK friends, That's you heard it here. Cool. <laughs> We're talking to you. That's the plan. Um, no, that's awesome, though. Uh, there's there's so many dates, too. You guys, like, have no clue you you have to i know every filmmaker loves to toot that you have to see their work on the big screen but especially for ursley and on the scale of how this is especially with so much mermaid love this it the 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 best possible way you can experience this is on a big screen like it's it's true and the events just add to that as well. Uh, Sammy the Mer, Mer they, I'm getting on yes. the road now to get Head, to SoCal. See you tomorrow. To us, hey, dude. look at Yay. that. Sammy's I awesome. won't see you, but the ladies will see you, right? Layla? Well, yes. 
Yeah. One of the things that Sammy did that was like, holy shit, she's on eight. Uh, they, is that there was like some drunk people that like broke some glass somewhere and Sammy was like, I'm going to protect everyone from the Oh, people. she did. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, yes, we need you. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Just took it upon. Um, yeah, Sammy just took it upon herself to, to save the world. And it was awesome. And I was like, we need people like you. So uh, hit up. Oh, Vero. Yeah. Dude, I've been following her a lot. Um, she is awesome i've been watching her videos that yeah, here would be great her stuff is amazing um oh you got your certification from her is she nice i hope she's <laughs> is she nice hey man you never know yeah i mean ursley depending on who you are can be nice <laughs> exactly it's so just, she's not nice to dickheads and evil people exactly that's that, okay that yeah bad. okay yeah then never mind yeah you're good you know yeah <laughs> that sounds like a fine person to me thank you i you know what i try you know yes 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 okay um well any <clears throat> other specific questions let's see here oh the the theater run just in case you can't Oh, good. She's a boss bitch. She's, She's a, a badass boss, boss bitch. bitch in the best way. Um, just in case you can't Took the words from my mouth. festivities, because I know you guys are super busy and have very awesome, well lived lives. Um, the Blumley is screening the film every single day at 7 30 p.m. until June 2nd. So I'm putting this out, this out into the world. We're manifesting this. We would love to fill every single night of the theater. I know that's big. That's a big lofty goal. I think it can be done, but that is what I would love and hope for for Ursley. Uh, we are it's starting. Um, we have there's at least one or two people that bought tickets almost every single night, which is cool. And also, thank you for that. Yes, yeah, also you. Jack, my man Jack. <clears throat> is going to do something special on our closing night for Thursday. He's putting it out in the ether right now, but we got it. We can only do it if there's enough mermaid, merfolk support. But I think, I think I'm gonna talk about it, but uh, <laughs> for Thursday for our closing night, we're going to make it a creature monster themed um, closeout. So he's going to wear some special stuff, I think designed by creature fins. Um, in your best monster gear, if you have you know special effects experience, and that's what you specialize in. Mermaid Icarus, yeah. Merman Icarus, uh, Icarus, all that stuff. So, so that's I believe going to be the closing night specialty screening um, that he's helping us with. So, but remember, it's screening every single day until the June second at seven thirty p.m. So if you fraternize with humans, please tell the humans also to go. So they can go to the other not so exciting <laughs> ones. You guys can go to the not so ones, exciting. like themed ones, but like it's we need the humans too to help us push this film. So um, yes, so it just needs to go, it goes starting the 27th all the way to June 7th. The second. 7.30 p.m. every single night. So, yes. But it'll be amazing. If we can pack the, if we can pack every night, then like the theater will be like, holy shit, what film is this? Like, and then that's when LA will start to pay attention and everybody else will start to pay attention. We have to make a lot of noise, basically. And, uh, and as mermaids and sirens and mermen, we can do that. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Yes. We can make some waves. Let's we'll make, make some waves. Oh, the dad oh, yeah. jokes. The dad jokes. <laughs> Layla with the dad jokes. I'm like, I'm here all night. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here all week. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Uh, right. Thank you again to everyone in chat. Away, but um, You have to go? I, yeah, I gotta answer a bunch of. Well, how long have we been going, uh, actually? 
Yes. I don't know. We've um, been going. I'll give it to you. Yes. But if you guys have any specific questions, um, do we have any? We're almost at 45 minutes. Um, oh, okay. So we can take another 15 minutes if you guys want to hang out, ask some questions mm -hmm. to Layla. Um, yes. You can even ask like set questions if you want. I can answer a lot of them, probably not all of them, because, you know, I worked in the art department, so it's not yes. like I see everything, but... Adam knows how a lot of insider information, that's for sure. Oh, I know a lot of insider information, all right. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want any juicy behind-the-scenes, like, drama? Talk shit about Christine. <laughs> anything. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, uh... Yeah. Did you cry on set? Yes, we did. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah. Cry on set. Cried right next to a we nest are. of wasps in my in my trailer. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was it was it was a crazy time. <laughs> was a crazy I did time. not even know that. So I'm like, what? I yeah. literally pretended I didn't see it. There's literally like a wasp nest, like where, where my, where the beds were, like there was just a wasp nest just chilling right in the corner. And I just saw like a wasp just like literally like perched out, just like staring straight at me, just like, what's up, dude. And I'm just like sitting there with my blanket, like, just, <laughs> just please just, just don't, don't fuck with me. <laughs> what? Jesus, what? Okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm. There was there was a lot going on, but you know what? It was still it was still a fun time. I had, you know, like there's there's so much there's so much that happened. But Christine's got to go, ladies and gentlemen. She she's she's got to get going because she's a she's a woman who is busy with 17,000 events. Oh, this so is a things about <gasps> oh, who's, who's uh, that question for my love? But yeah. me? Probably you guys. Probably you too. Yes, Layla, that's that's you. I'm going to subtly. I'm well, and you, Christine. Okay. She's like. There. <laughs> I can't. Uh, not here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna. Yeah, go ahead. Take the question away. Go ahead. I got you. I'm like, I tried. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> um. What some of the unexpected things you learned about Ursley that resonate with you? <sighs> um, oh, God, that's such a good question. There's a lot that I learned about Ursley um, in terms of things that she likes, and you and I have had this conversation before. Ursley is a lover of white meat. She loves chicken breast. She loves sweet wine and sparkling drinks. She loves white flowers, which a lot of that is myself. I love, love, love like jasmine, gardenia. Um, God, what are those big magnolia? Oh, magnolias, um, tiger those lilies like that yeah. open up and they're so massive. They get pollen everywhere, but they smell amazing. And then just her absolute love for protection. That is the biggest thing for me because I feel like so many women, if every woman, every man that I've known woman, man, it doesn't matter, has had something happen to them in their life where they felt they were just not protected. And they just, you know, kind of like when you're a child and something happens and you, you're you mad and you're like, if my big brother were here or I wish my dad were here kind of thing, daddy issues, we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> it's a whole avenue. I know, but at the end of the day, the fact that Ursley is, she is a fierce protector. She does not take shit lightly. And you will see that in the film, like she's not going to take it very lightly. You hurt anyone that she loves, it's game over for you at that point, which mad respect to her for that. Plus she has three husbands. That's that's awesome. That's That rules. That's, that's Goals. pretty, yeah. Goals, three husbands. So that's amazing to me. And so, and it's really cool because she wears a ring with three different, um, three different jewels on there for each of her husbands. Cause she's like, the god oh, really? of fire, yeah, the god of fire, the god of water, and the god of air, I think, are all three of her husbands. So I'm like, okay, get god. it. She's Ursula she's, just flossing on everybody. Good she's God. Fiercely jealous. Like she is not a fan of sharing. She just she doesn't do the whole sharing thing. I don't do the whole sharing thing either. When you get me, you get me. The goddess 
no one wants to have this bike that everybody's put their butt cheeks on all up and around town that's all rusted and I don't stuff. want your sweaty ass on, on my bike. Right. Get, like get don't here. nobody yeah. don't nobody want no used napkin. Like come to me no. correct as a goddess. You know <laughs> this is why I call people peasants because people have such <laughs> I love it. They have such peasant mentality. Rise above that. <laughs> Get with the program, you know? And so I, I, I don't know. I just, that's, there's so many things I could really dive into in terms of what I've learned about Ursley, but it's just the little things like feeling like I, if I were younger, I would have had someone to protect me. The fact that she and I love flowers, the fact that she and I are fierce protectors, the fact that we, Ursley loves very hard. She's a, she's a heart like once she, she's very encompassing of, of a motherly figure. She's like vengeance in a, in a sense or karma if you want to put it that way. Mm-hmm. And she does it in her own dignified way because you know what you kind of get what you ask for when you kind of gamble with voodoo because you're gonna get what you want, but it may not be the way that you wanted it. But right. she did it with good intentions, and you'll see that in the film because there's a scene that Ursley did something to help protect someone. And it was not in any way what people expected her to do, but that was her way of, of saying, I thought I was helping. So I could go on and on and on and I will digress. But no, those were, you, you literally those sold that without things. any spoilers. You did a fantastic job. How did oh, you I do know. that? Like I'm, every time know. I talk about Ursley, I'm like, don't spoil it. Don't do it. <laughs> you know, darling, as a goddess, you know, when you've been hanging around the Murr folk and the Murr family and, you know. Oh, oh my said, gosh. And it just ended. Oh, no. Oh, we got kicked off. We got kicked off of uh, Instagram. Are you are you kidding me? Yeah, Instagram kicked us off. What happened? Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Where the? Oh, Sorry. Christine's with you. Okay. Yeah. But um, you're still on for, uh, am I still on? Oh, hi. Yeah, hi. we're still on on Facebook. Hi, Facebook. Sorry. We, uh, okay, yeah. for some hi, reason, FB. Instagram. Honestly, let's just finish the episode with Facebook. You guys, you guys have been the true OGs. Um, unless yes. you want to go back on Instagram, it feels like yeah, it feels like. Yeah, okay. My, my, uh, I think my wife might kick me out. I was going to oh, say. Okay. And if anyone has not heard the song, the remix of our song on Earthly, it is now on uh, Spotify, I believe, iTunes. It's on all streaming. It's on all streaming platforms, and it is amazing. And it is a re- first of all, the original of the song is so beautiful. It's really you know good, it. and I didn't know yeah. there was a remix. It's and it even said like the words are so meaningful, and it's like our bond is thicker than blood, purer than water. Right. Our bond is thicker than blood, purer than water. Where the daughters of the witch, they could never burn. We'll dance in the fire to our heart's desires. Our heart's desires. It's time for the tables to turn. I, man, I, I like the song. I jam it out, either version yeah. of it. But the, the remix is like, mm, 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 mm. hold on. If I had, it's, if tequila it, was in here. I'd it's like, a bop. Yeah. <laughs> so good. It's so good. So yes, that definitely everyone pick up on that song. Camille wrote it in like on the way to the damn set. So I think it was, yeah, it's so weird. I'm like looking back. Christine's like the God in the room. I'm like, Hey God, I know. <laughs> how long did it take Camille to write the song? She's like one week. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the voice of reason. Like, yeah. Okay. I, I requested. Um, <laughs> that's hilarious all right we're back welcome <laughs> i think christine was supposed to leave uh 30 minutes ago <laughs> <laughs> holy shit did she just leave <laughs> wait did i did Hi, I food. oh my gosh you guys are amazing. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining. You guys, thank you. Back. Welcome, oh, welcome. There were some wife. internet troubles on Christine's welcome, side. Welcome, but... welcome, darlings. What were we discussing? Peasants? Um, song. Well, we're... Oh, the, the amazing song. song. Yeah, so how long did it take 
Camille to write it. Wasn't it like a couple hours? A day. Yeah. It was a full day, she told me. Yeah. One damn day. Mm -hmm. She she wrote the lyrics while she was driving to Yeah. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. It is such a good song. I was writing with Nick prior to that. Um, Right. So we've been writing the the instrumentals prior to that. Um, I was heavily, I wasn't as heavily involved in the rock version. Mm -hmm. Um, Well, I knew what I wanted it to sound like. I was heavily involved in the sexy, I call Kitsy Missy song, which is (laughs) the the remix is so softer. But um, you guys love California. We are. We are still in California. I feel like I I have now been inducted. Yeah, I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> I was That's gonna it. say, I'm like, where are you, Christine? What's happening? That's God. That's God. I know. It's like, it's God. Christine, you up there? <laughs> <laughs> That's God. You were in front of me a moment ago. Now you're fucked. <laughs> That's so great. Oh man. Everybody in Austin, high fidelity foods. Thank you guys so much. Amazing food. It was so great. I wish we had a bigger mermaid community in Austin. We've got a couple of mermaids, but I yeah, so shout couple. out to all those beautiful. Honorary oh, Californian. Yes, Look at that, Layla. Oh, uh, I feel like I honestly feel as I, I being in, this is the first time I've ever, cause I go to Kelly a lot. Well, I'm here a lot. And it's odd that this is the first time I've ever felt like, okay, this is a different feel. I literally feel like I have a past life. Like we were talking about earlier. Like I feel as if I've had a past life in California. Like I feel it. And I'm like, maybe I should just move here. It's But then I saw y'all's gas prices. Yeah, it's not great. And the traffic is triple than Austin. Yeah, it's not great. It, yeah. But here's the thing. Rich history. Amazing people and incredible food like you're in sacramento right now you know we're in la or you're in la right now right i was in sacramento last weekend and the week last weekend that, so you're in la well even mm-hmm. regardless there is i know four five thai places in la that are just like it will melt your brain it will be like oh. one of those foods that's just like why have i not had this in my life ever so, like you just you, it shakes you to the bone it's so good so last night shout out to kudu i think that's called i think it's kudu kudu sushi holy <gasps> rabies holy rabies when Is i it tell good? you i've never good had sushi, sushi huh? so good i'm like why have, <laughs> why? i'm like this is a sam <laughs> and then, oh my gosh and then there was another place called Mer- maruki Mercuni. It, that was in Sacramento, in the old, old area. Oh, Sacramento, it, never heard of it. Yeah. Right, Mir- I'd have to look it up on my phone. But there's a there's another sushi place we had gone to, and so this is why I tell people I'm gonna have nipple oil for everybody. So Christine, myself, it was Christine, myself, Alex, and Anna. Shout out to you guys, I love you, um, and Miss Beautiful Camille. Those are three. Those are my three loves, and I have three. Three is like my number, like my life number. It's my number. It's my thing. And was, oh, so I love them. So shout out to them. We'd gone out to have things are better in threes. Yes, we. That's why ursley has got three husbands. <laughs> wow, oh, we went full circle. Like, what? Three sixty. Three sixty. So yeah, we went. We'd gone Gosh. to have sushi. I wish I could remember this place, but they have this drink with this little Szechuan button. It's like a tiny little button. And apparently, because it was so funny, because the guy brought it down to Christine. He was like, "Well, how do you want your drink?" She's like. What are you talking about? And she he set down two glasses, like one for the drink, and then there was a little flower. And we're like, what the hell What's is that? that? About? He's like, Well, I just want to let you know that it's gonna make you numb. I'm like, it's gonna what? And he's like, oh, we just want to prepare you for what the hell is this little bit? And I'm like, the flower, does she eat it? Does she like rub it? He's like, No, you gotta eat it. And we're like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. is she supposed to swallow this? And I was like, what is going on? This is this, what kind of, no, we're not gonna have my die. This is this is some weird shit. Cause I mean, you don't just bring two cups to the table and tell someone, by the way, it's going to make you numb. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all for crazy recipes, but this is and a so, little too much. <laughs> so she, so we're like, we're like staring at this tiny little flower, this yellow flower, which is so potent apparently. Yeah. And I did research on it cause I'm a nerd and I love research. Um, but apparently it's like this, this flower that they call it like the, 
electric electric or buzz flower. So it actually would numb the inside of your mouth whenever they had toothaches for the indigenous people. It's that strong. And I was I was telling her, I was like, I how do you feel? That. That's crazy. I was like, how do you feel? We're watching. We're gonna make sure you're alive. So she, yeah, you're supposed <laughs> to chew the flower and then drink your drink. I'm like, if you have to be numb to enjoy this drink. I think that's a little bit <laughs> kind of intuitive. I'm like, what are you doing? Is the drink crap? You, Yeah. Is that why you numb people? Right. Oh. It's just like we we put in a, a scorpion's tail in it so oh that God. your half your body will just go into paralysis. It's like, why? Yeah. Like, like y'all are doing the most. Yes. But what was so was much, so much more interesting, I was like, okay, okay. So after she had it, she was explaining it. She's like, yeah, like your whole mouth kind of like goes numb. Like it's kind of shot. I was like, uh-uh. Mm-mm. Yeah, no. I'm good. And then, the, then after when she, then when I made sure that she was, she wasn't going to die, then I was like, <laughs> I'm going to order one. And then you everybody just, came in was like, you know what? We all, all of us. Now the curiosity them. just shoots through the roof. Right. Yeah. And then I was like, I asked the guy, I go, okay, so let me ask you a question. If I don't want the drink, I just want the button. How much is the button? <laughs> Well, the buttons are kind of scared. They call it button. He said, they're kind of scarce. So I don't know if we well, just, just bring us a round of buttons because I'm taking it home. A round of buttons. Yes. And he said, how many do you oh want? I was God. like, three. Because I'm taking three home and then bring me a drink with the button so I can enjoy that. And then, so the guy goes, he leaves. And he's like, all right, three. Everybody gets a round of drinks. And he leaves and he comes back and he's like, we have no more. I mean, I'm saying what? He's like, that was the last one. So you mean to tell me you got us wow. all excited for this button and you don't have no more? Yeah, you you didn't think to look at the basket or wherever it's in to notify right. me. I'm not happy. They don't make don't? it either. Do they not make those buttons? I mean, it, how you gonna make it unless you got it's a flower? I mean, well, well, fair enough. But like I'm <laughs> saying, like, like, wouldn't you have like bushels of it and like in like you know, like how in restaurants do they have like garnishes yeah, and that's stuff? What I would think. They have like, like a bag bags of, of garnishes. It's like you would have bags of this shit. And then it's like, I don't know, Lily, you had the last one. It's like for the entire week. Like, what are exactly. you talking about? Like, Dude, that's what I thought. I was like, yeah, I ain't gonna make it. This you is, don't this have another bag. Business? Take me well, to the back. <laughs> long story short, I looked it up. Did you get a picture of the drink? No, it was, it was, it looked very basic. It was in kind of like a little square shot glass. It was kind of clearish. Ah, uh, God, I wish. What I, was the button called? I'll put it's a Szechuan. It was a Szechuan flower. Not the Szechuan sauce from uh, McDonald's, right? No, <laughs> no. It's like a Szechuan flower, but they call. Okay, yeah, Christine found it. God is speaking in the background. God is speaking. <laughs> She's up there. Hello. Oh, long story short, I'm actually going to, I, I was like Amazon or whatever. I need to go through this. We need to, I, I really want to start supporting local businesses. So, I mean, I, I can do Amazon for yeah. convenience, but at the same time, I totally want to support. So, and I love flowers and plants. So does Ursley. Um, but I looked it up already. And I'm going to go ahead and buy, buy some. Some will be growing it. And I already told Alex and Anna, as soon as those flowers are red tea, I will mail y'all some and I'm going to make some nipple oil. So for all those single people who are dealing with the struggle like I am, that have just not felt the sensuality of anyone touching this, honey, I will touch you with the flowers. So I'm going to just rub it all over everything. I'll touch you with just stimulate and shock yourself, you know, you know, to happiness. It's better uh, than a jellyfish. I'm not going to uh, do that, but I- I'll get you right with God. I'll get you right. You got to be careful with that, Layla, because you're going to start a business and then you're going to like, and then, you know, and then everybody's going to want the, the, the Layla, the the Layla touch. It's going to be the Ursley buzz. That's what it is. Honey. The Ursley buzz. The Ursley oh my buzz. gosh. I and love B, it. The B is going to be the number three. So the Ursley, the three. So it looks like a B, but not really the Ursley buzz. Oh. Yes, honey. We'll make Clever it work. marketing. Good gosh. You know, and I don't expect oh, anything indeed. less. From uh, girl, you don't have to get any try our Szechuan peppercorn oil. Ah, oh. did I? Is that your spicy sauce? Because I did try the spicy. Yes, Miss Johnny. Yeah, Mama, you already know I'm gonna touch you with that flower, girl. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm like, how do you scroll up? This thing is driving me to drink. It's uh, you have to scroll down. It's stupid. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. I don't know why it's doing it. But is there a way that I can make it to where I can see all of the comments? And no. Oh, you just have to like hit the comment itself and then you can see oh, like the top three comments as it goes. It only does goes three. Down. I mean, I yeah, I know. You, you have to, yeah. 
Mr. And then it also blocks my face too, which is appropriate for chat to block <laughs> my dumb face. No, I'm glad because I have, look at these dark circles in my eyes. I look like a raccoon. Like I am battling. You can't tell. So I'm, I'm out of Would it. Would you dude. like some of, I can send you some Szechuan button. And you can, <laughs> I you need can, a lot can, of Szechuan buttons. You can do a little zap here. If you feel you need to. Yes. You know, my, my chubby cheeks, you know. I, just, I love it, your cheeks. I hate it. I hate it. <clears throat> I hate it, but uh, we've been going on for okay. We've been I saw creature fins. Sorry, I saw creature fin pop up, and I just wanted to say I'm a huge fan. Oh, <laughs> <gasps> they're here! Yeah, they're, I popped in just to say that. I'm trying to do work on the side. I can't scroll and see it. I just wanted to say that I'm a huge. Creature fin has just commented. Oh, hello! Oh, hello! Yeah. Why yeah. don't I see this? No, they're there. Why they said, "Oh, hello!" <laughs> yeah, I. Not here. Yes. <laughs> Hi, God. God is speaking. God, Anna. Anna's here too. <gasps> Anna. Anna. Why can I not see? This is driving me to drink. Hello. Anna's there too. So is Preacher Fins. It's a party. Well, fun. oh, it's uh, a party. It's a so party. yeah. I just wanted to fangirl and tell Preacher Fins that I really like, love. You guys love, are work. amazing. So From, I was looking at, at it far, and then when they announced that you guys were there. And then it was the um, it was a dive bar. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, we got some. Right. Did you see the video? You guys looked amazing. Like all this, all your. Okay, so I have plans for you for the sequel. We need to talk about it offline. But like, what you guys have designed is so much more efficient than what we than what we had to put Ursley through. So Ursley had to go through like five to six hours of prosthetics for her boobies, and that. Yeah. Was, that doesn't work really well. Um, and it even had the little nipples in it, too. They were very efficient. <laughs> I like the what you guys have created yeah. instead. Layla's committed. Yes. Yes. Okay. I yeah, you guys do more work. So <laughs> I'm no longer here. Talented. That's, that was insanely beautiful what I saw. So that would be fun. What was that? She just went dark. Yeah, she Adam, just. Are she, you on Zoom? Okay, there you go. I'm on Zoom. I'm here. I've God always been here. Talking. God has. I'm the talking. co-host. I'm here. You can always depend on me, you guys, because I know Christine's the more famous out of the two of us, and I get it. Yeah. But here's the thing, though. I'm unemployed, and I'm always here. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey, I'm the life of an I'm actor. Kidding. I I I I work on I work on sets. I still work and stuff. It's just you know. I, I work from home and I still don't have a car. So, you know, it's, it's been, it's been a whole, it's been a whole thing. Uh, um, thank you. Yes. Let's talk. L hit her up on the DMS creature fins. I was like, you know? where is this happening? Is this not, is this, where is this? At? I don't know why, like my, I'm seeing it right now. It, it creature fins just says, thank you. Yes. Let's talk. Like it's a, that's the latest comment. I don't know if you're just getting like a delay. <laughs> Well, I, thought, I just it just hates me at this point i'm like what kind of disrespect maybe you're this? just getting <laughs> instagram just cold-blooded that's that's just who they are but haters, haters. Uh, yeah Talk yeah about your prosthetic process with maybe creatures in my planet yeah so god is speaking yeah what thank you thank you heavenly father, <laughs> and heavenly father. wow uh, she has spoken she has spoken <laughs> So cool thing. Well, shout out to Roxy, beautiful Roxy, who is actually here in LA, who did the prosthetics for me. Uh, Christine, the genius that she is, aka God, that's speaking right now. Um, she took the first week of filming as a prep week, which I have never known of anyone to do that. And that is the most ingenious thing ever, because not only did she put us all exactly where we needed to be so we can see how blocking would work in the actual environment, we actually had me go through the process of regular mermaid, human, and then evil bitch mermaid. So there's three different variations of Ursley, three different pairs of eyeballs that I got to wear, three different looks. And like with phases. Of, yeah. yeah. And with each of those looks came different things. So yeah. for the just human, it didn't, it wasn't, it was like what, maybe an hour, no, not probably not even an hour, 45 minutes just for like makeup, to do the hair, um, paint the nails, the, the contacts. Um, and then I, don't believe I had any markings. So my markings, if anyone has ever asked or if anyone wanted to know why when Ursley is not in the water, she doesn't have her markings. So Ursley is a, is a water Loa. So when she's in water, that's when she's more powerful. She's not that she's not more powerful on land, but 
I mean, honestly, we're all 80% water. So when she's within water, she has that ability to reach other elements to make her that much more of an astounding goddess that she is. So that's why when you only see her in the water mm -hmm. is when she had all of her markings. And then when she's not, obviously she doesn't have her tails. She doesn't have her, her goddess markings because she's not in her environment. But <clears throat> the process to do all of the, the uh, I call it a breastplate. I'm not entirely sure what the bodice or the breast piece was as well as getting the tail glued on and also the shimmer and the like all of the things and also my ears because Ursley also had if you guys notice she had um mermaid-esque ears and I, it's funny because I actually have naturally elf-like ears they're super <laughs> tiny but they're really they're it's really weird I hated my elf ears for the longest time I'm like I have straight up like elf ears and then the elf community is like no that's amazing and I'm like okay um but it took after doing prep week, we we found like that sweet median to see how much time it would take to get all of the prosthetics on. And so to glue the tail on, because it was pretty simple to get it on, but to glue it on, to glue the bodice piece, because it had to lay completely flat on my skin was about a five and a half hour process of prosthetics. And so that was That's crazy. That's yeah, so, so makeup, markings, nails, hair, uh, the glue for the ears. They used, I believe, medical glue for yeah. the ears, um, for the the bottom half of the tail, so that it can be glued to me. And then there was also like random pieces that were glued like up up my my stomach. And so that would be amazing because when I was looking at the beautiful mermaid who was swimming with with the the creature attire, it was it was. I'm looking at this, like, how did this go on? And I remember speaking with her. She was so incredibly beautiful and sweet. So shout out to her. Um, and she was saying, she's like, oh, it's just, it's just one piece. And I was like, wait, what? Is it what? It's just <laughs> one piece? I'm like, aren't you hot in that thing? And she's like, no, it's not bad. So that wow. was super intense. Like if you've seen it, if, if you if you were able to see the videos of her swimming mm -hmm. in it, it, it looks extremely complicated. But in reality, it was it was a bodice, it was a bodysuit from what she said, and then she puts the the headpiece on. That would that's so time that's so time saving, and it was. Yeah. But, but I will say, I like the process of being glued in the tail. I know it took forever, but for me, it was to see someone in their craft creating art every single time. I had to be a mermaid it was so much fun for me. <laughs> it really was it was beautiful she's like you're such a great subject because most people hate being in these because the well, process of getting what, it on yeah roxy <laughs> said i remember her saying she was like a lot of people would just like claustrophobia would set in after like hour yeah. three and then yeah. everybody is just like yeah can we actually not do this mm -hmm. <laughs> you know and she was like layla is just like she's a trooper she just she she enjoys it she talks with me and you know <laughs> yeah, fuck it, it. i'm like and then the fuck. And then like long nights of filming when I was like tired, she'd be like, can you move your arm? And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, she's, and then she goes, I'm sorry, sweetie, but you're going to have this dance. I was like, okay. <laughs> you just sleep standing up. I oh was like God. so tired. There were so many days where I was so tired, but it was so, I loved it. I thought it was fun, but the process yeah. of putting that on the five and a half hour, five and a half hour process of putting it on also meant that it was a two hour process taking it off. And it had to be very delicate. So my skin wasn't ripped off at the same time. So they had to use yeah. like a solvent, like a soapy, oily water mixture solvent, mm -hmm. I believe, to slowly peel every bit of that. I mean, slowly. But again, that's another two hours that you yeah. like, you have to carefully disassemble. Fuck, yeah. That's just, that's insane. Yeah. And, and Roxy and I had a conversation about how, um, God, I cannot for the life of me. Uh, Batista, Batista. Uh, isn't it Dave? David Batista, I believe. Oh, Dave Batista. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Guardians. Yeah. yeah. The process Guardians of, of him being in that was the it's same like, material that I used. Yeah. So it wasn't like body paint. It was an actual. I mean, the the latex is is still thin and breathable, but I, like once you put the layer of glue on there, and then your body naturally has oils, and you're sweating. Yeah. It's you got to have some some mad crazy glue to keep it in there, especially when I'm like swimming in the in the pool because pool water does not like mermaid tails or at least our mermaid tail, no, because yeah. we, we went in with it a little bit and then we started noticing things were coming off and we're like, Oh, yeah, that and they were like, Meredith, Meredith, what did we do? 
And she's like, yeah, chlorine is not going to be your friend. So we're like, okay, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> and shout out to Meredith for making the tale for real, for real, because that tale, I felt so happy. Like when I tell you this, these creature things are so fun for me because it allows me to be something that I can't be. It allows me to be a completely different character, to build a different persona. It's why I love being an actress because I don't have to be me. Now I tell you, I'm me, I'm fun as me that. But when oh, I yeah. get to be other things without the repercussions of anything that come with it, it's so much fun to just, that's why creatures and mermaids and monster, like all of these things are so much fun to be a part of. And I was completely okay with the process of putting it all on and then taking it off because it was just, well, and then Ro watching Roxy, I mean, down to like little scales that were on me that she was painting. And I mean, she was oh my like God. Yeah. looking and painting and she'd look back and be like, okay, I'm going to put a little more shimmer here. Yeah. Uh, okay. And I'm she like, can carry this? a conversation too, fluidly. Yes. Like she can do Be two smooth. things at once so meticulously. I'm like, do you need me to leave? Like, am I <laughs> bothering you? And she was like, no, I'm fine. And she just like, like with like a microscope, just like, yeah, you know, know, putting in these scales. I'm just like, this is intense. <laughs> <laughs> so man, and it it really speaks volumes. Christine will only bring people on set that one that she trusts. Like there's from what I've learned being on set with Christine for the first time ever is that a lot of the people that she's worked with that she built a family with are the same people that she has working with her on set, which is the best thing because I didn't see any drama. I mean, from the actor's standpoint, I didn't really see any drama. With everybody, this is the I first mean, set it's with set, no drama. It, again, it's set live, so I mean, of course, you're gonna want to throw eggs at somebody if they piss you off or whatever. But right. and how uh, that's set life. But at the same time, it was such a great family. Like everyone operated right. Even when Carly was like five, we need her in five, and Rossi's like, okay, hold on, I got like 15 minutes, and Carly's like. Uh -huh four minutes now and we're like oh, oh yeah. okay no I, like, I was yeah i got <laughs> under the gun from carly a couple of times yeah for sure yeah i love it but, i wish i had that but i'm so nice i'm such a yeah cancer. you bust your ass <laughs> for sure <laughs> you, you you're running and you see yeah. you want you uh, so many people from crew and even from cast too because like there's a couple times where zoe's like you run a lot like you see my bitch ass is running everywhere from like back and forth from the art storage all the way back and i'm just sweating just pouring and then people are like are you okay and i'm like i ran you know it's just like <laughs> because I we just, we're losing daylight we gotta we gotta oh, keep yeah. moving we have to like and we didn't realize like even though we were all together it still felt like the days were like six hours long like it just goes so fast yeah it really and you're like fuck us. i didn't even have time we didn't even have time to set the pool we didn't have this we didn't have that you know there's just so many things that like we wanted to to get done even mm -hmm. more with more time but we just didn't have that luxury i mean we had to have 11 days to shoot this thing it was it yeah. was nuts you know but and we got it through and layla Talk about a trooper. Jesus Christ. I mean, fun. like it was really fun. It I was I got to super keep fun. my moo moo. You got to keep your moo moo, really? I have a moo moo. God, I wish there was a moo moo so, for guys. That that there, is appropriate. Ugh. So from the people, if when you watch the film, there's a scene where Ursley's in this blue flowery moo moo, which I, yeah. I guess pockets. Man, when they put me in that, I was like, man, this is all I gotta wear today. This is perfect. Because you just and, need a pocket for your phone. That's it, you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know I actually didn't. Oh, wait, no. During prep week, I had my phone. And then after that, I was like, yeah, just this is just a, like a, a rule of mine. I don't have my phone on set just to respect everyone. And really? you never know, you know, mm -hmm. that is something you that are up. a lady of class. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. That's that's actually really that's amazing. So many yeah, people I, are just like, well, be on their phones no matter what. Yeah. Like, that's that's crazy. But you're someone who wants to be in the moment i respect that yeah i and i don't ever want it to be in a hindrance and you know i i always leave it to others to get bts which i get it so, right. so if anyone's ever works with me again or they or have worked with me and you're like why don't you have your phone why are you asking me to send you all these photos you can take them yourself i i just respect the producers i respect the writers i respect any part of the creators that are everybody that goes into it you know and they not to say it's kind of like wearing a mask. You don't have to wear a mask it because that's different. But I don't want to cause any, in my mind, I'm just like, I want to be respectful. Like if they can't have their phone, I shouldn't have my phone. I don't need it. I'm 
Right. I'm here for a reason. I'm here to do a job. I'm here to do my role. And so I don't need my phone. And if I need it, I'll go wherever I need to get it. Or when I get it, I get it kind of mm-hmm. thing. So that's why it's imperative to have back you know, BTS people because people like myself who don't, who want to respect everyone around them, yeah. I don't bring my phone. I just don't. And it's awkward if I do. I'm, I feel weird. Like I'm cheating. It's weird. Well, that, but also like then like once, once picture is up, you have to hand your phone off, right? You can't just have yeah. it chilling in your pocket. You So you have to rely on costume or hair and makeup or somebody to just like yeah, make take sure. It. Here, have my phone. Hey, don't run off with your fucking phone. <laughs> oh God, yo, I didn't think about that one. Yes. You're like, who has my phone? Because I remember during, uh, when we were doing the stunt, the James stunt, I won't say any more than that. When we were doing the James stunt, but it was also Perfect. during prep week. I have my phone because yeah. we were, Handing, we were hanging out in the cabin with the girls and then they were like, all right, Layla, we're ready to do the stunt, the practice with the stunt. So I ran out and I was like, hey, or someone take my phone. Cause I, I knew immediately after we did that practice, I had to be somewhere. I can, can't remember where, but my phone. So the text message tone of my phone is the sound of a goat. So mm-hmm. you'll just hear, eh, and it's like, that's what it was. Yeah. What was that? Okay. It was my phone. So I forgot. And this is why this is why I don't bring my phone on set because I forgot that I didn't have it on silent because I wasn't, you know, I'm like, it's prep week, you know, I'll have it. You know, you convinced whatever. me and Reese that there was a there goat, was a goat? On the property. Yeah. Oh like God, really? me and Reese hit, we were just sitting standing there like, what the fuck is this goat noise? Like, who has this? And then everybody else was just laughing and pretending there's not a goat. And Reese what? and I are looking at each other like, is there a goat here? Y'all didn't like, know? We, we didn't know. Oh. So for the longest time, we think there's just a goat living in the woods. Oh <laughs> like, we just didn't know. like, we just, we're like, why, why is there a goat noise? And for the longest time, so you'd be like, man, there's some shit going down here. That that's what I'm saying. Of. I'm like, they got all, every single animal. It's the fucking animal kingdom in Louisiana. What's yeah. happening here? It would have been eaten by a gator. <laughs> that sure. goat would have been eaten. By, but it was funny. So right. So this is how I noticed that this was like, this is a, a, a test to myself. Like, okay, this is why you don't have your phone on set. So I'm, I have the guy's hand and, and we do the stunt. And then right, but right when, um, because Anthony, Anthony had the camera. So Anthony had to like follow yeah. us back up and he had a spot and everything. And right when Christine was like, okay, and action, or she's like at camera and then action. Yeah. And then like, you know, then we start, she's like, uh-huh. start a couple seconds after. And then all of a sudden, right before I started, all I was, ah! and, I was like, oh, yeah. shit. and I had to like suck it up and like be earthly. And then I was like, afterwards, I go strike or turn my phone off. He goes, I know I got, you. I got you. But that was so, I was like, I heard a goat. And it's in the, it's in one of the videos that somebody took of that behind the scenes. And Reese and, you, and I you, are just standing there posting up in the back. Like what the fuck? <laughs> what happened? Now, Who is now I'm going to find that video and see if I can find your faces. I hope, I hope so. Because you'll just see like, two idiots Whoa. in the back, just looking at each other. Like, wait, are we just going to pretend there's not a goat here? <laughs> Oh my god! It was so great. It was su- it was such a for me. It was like got gaslight first- by a goat. Exactly. Oh my god! Yeah. So it's just like yeah, I gotta make sure I don't bring my phone because that can't happen. But the but respect funny. value that you have for a set, Layla, I, I appreciate that. That's yeah, that's like really. Thanks. I mean, my work requires me to have a phone because I have to take continuity photos. Yeah. I always have to have my phone and shit. But mm-hmm. I always like thought that was like fucking like grade a like like class whenever somebody's just like just there to just like soak in the moment and just soak Mm -hmm. in the time because you know you're right though it feels weird to just like have your phone i would assume being talent like you would kind of want to be in the zone i would i would assume like you kind of want to like get yourself mentally prepared the last thing you want to do is just start thumbing through tiktok you know like i don't know if you want to go through that cesspool right before you're about to roll you know like yeah it makes that also makes sense because there's so many different parts of why i just don't because that is a distraction that's not necessary and yeah there are times where there's so many times where i I'll be like, oh God, this is a great photo. But out of like, again, out of respect, because a lot of times I'll do projects where you can't post anything about it. They're like, no, you signed an NDA, yeah. yep. you can't. So, I mean, you might as well just go across the board that way. And then if they have someone doing BTS, you can, you can either ask, or if someone is brave enough to bring their phone, be like, yo, can you, you know, airdrop that to me real quick? Cause you were right. the one that did it, not me sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, so it's all on you uh, kind of thing. But I, yeah, I just, 
I don't really think it's necessary to have it because you're working. Why you wouldn't have your phone right. while you're yeah. in like, I mean, your character would even have it. So it's just, just, it's, yeah. yeah. It, if it's not necessary, don't, <clears throat> don't bring it. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's a good, it's a good tool, but like, it, it's so shocking. Like how many actors just like, will just like, We'll be in the middle of like texting or like going through Instagram or anything like that, like just right before they roll. And I'm just like, I mean, it's great. Like I would want that moment to just like, I got to be in as, because like, I don't know if it's like, I have like somewhat ADHD, but like, I, I need to be focused because if I have any sort of distraction, it, yeah. it's going to, it's going to ruin me, especially writing too. Distraction is everywhere. I have to be focused. So Props to you. Props to you. Yes, thank but, uh, you. Thank we've you. been we've been going at it for more than an hour and a half. So I think we should wrap this. Fuck. What? Are you kidding me, Elizabeth? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. No way. I oh my gosh. Me. Ladies and gentlemen, friend of the podcast, Elizabeth you. True. Oh my goodness gracious. Beautiful woman. How are you, hey, dude? Well. What's going on? Oh, just got out of therapy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Every good actor has a therapist. mental health is important. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can I can't Ooh. hear you. Oh, hold on. But... Oh, it's okay. Let me turn it up. There we go. You're in pink, right? What's can, good? I, this is what's Zoom happening. Is what is good? Insta. Come sit, Valley. Not Come America. We're actually oh, just about to wrap God. this up. I don't know where Christine is. I think she is she God, God is working. God, God, are you there? God, are you there, God? God, oh, God has spoken. <laughs> All right, hey, hey, Christine, we're gonna wrap it up here. God is yeah. marketing. <laughs> gotta get that Jesus vibe. <laughs> gotta get that Jesus vibe. That Szechuan button feel. What? Uh, Marhania, <laughs> the Mosaic Mermaid, hashtag relatable. Le literally, me and my therapist this morning. Yeah. You know, oh, I had my when was my therapist meeting? Was it like two days, yeah, yesterday. So I got something out of that too because we were sharing walls and I could hear. Sorry, <laughs> no, I'm glad it helps. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you guys, thank you so much for sticking around. This is amazing. All the mermaid yeah. love is incredible. You guys are wonderful, wonderful yes, people. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for letting me crash. And the shout out to Elizabeth for crashing the podcast the last Look few minutes. Woman we love skin. seeing like, her. I, 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 it drives me to drink. Uh, right? Who? Elizabeth? Yeah. I mean, yeah really? Ooh. Elizabeth is driving you to drink? You drive Why? Me to drink. Look how beautiful <laughs> she is. Look at her skin. Adam, look at your sweet face. It is good to see you. I don't My know sweet what... face? I have oh, dark circles. Look at me. I'm falling apart. Uh, well, apart. I think we all are. Yeah, but I don't. I, I miss the the heart of the artichoke of the conversation. But I appreciate everyone yeah. who's on and who's let me crash. So thank you. Yeah, thank you guys so much. This was so much fun. So excited to see y'all this Saturday. You won't see me, but you'll see Layla. You'll Woo see. Is Elizabeth gonna be there too? I will be. There. Yes, you will. The cast of Ursley is gonna be there. Mm -hmm. Son's art department, but that's okay. <laughs> Should I get a cutout made of you? Oh my god! No, get a cutout of Reese. Just Reese's head. I just want like a oh blow up of Reese's head. God. Just him, just smiling, and just like just have like oh, a giant poster so of his head. I would love that. We should. Oh my we god! Should just I think I'm all just of you gonna. Guys yeah, maybe too. we should just yeah. get like a beach ball with his head on it. Yes, so it can be yes. like really massive. We'll add it to the list, and we'll we'll send it. We'll bring it home to you in Austin. I'll just be like, Ear. just bounce I'll a bounce a Reese head everywhere. Yeah, so when you open your window, all you see is Reese's head. Oh, what a dream! <laughs> what a freaking dream! <laughs> that, that'll cost that. me all like fifteen dollars. We can make that happen. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> I'll front the <laughs> cash. I'll do it we with you guys. Happen, Fuck yeah. Happen. Um. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been. The, Listen, if you think we are not still slinging Get Realisms books, you got another thing coming, okay? We're still the Get Realisms podcast. GetRealisms.com. Pick up your book today. $35. Get your poster, 15 What are we doing here, okay? Get your book. Learn some film stuff. And then yeah. maybe you can make a mermaid film yourself. Or be in one. Or come or see one. Or be in one. 
or, or come see it. what there's so many events mm-hmm. ladies yeah. and gentlemen early yeah, come, come, come support all the pre-sales, events pre-sales 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 guys we want to show them that we can do this and i know with the amazing merch community we can totally do it we can if i gotta pull my uk homies i will Listen, UK homies, everybody, 250 pre-order sales will get early to the feature page. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then you're going to have the movie forever. That's You'll have a piece of history with you forever. Mm -hmm. Digital history. Come on, you guys. So May 27th. No, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Elizabeth. I'm like, who needs an NFT when you can have our movie? Stop with the NFTs, everybody. Get <laughs> yourself the Ursley treatment <laughs> and go to the events. Why waste your money on the NFT? Stop it. Come it's drink like, with no one Saturday. It. It'll be fun for brunch. Get a poster. 27. I think we've got posters that we can sign and totally have for you guys at the at the event. You want Elizabeth and Layla to sign your posters, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, that's a that's a no brainer. So go to these events. May 27th, May 27th to June 2nd is the Lemley Glendale, Los Angeles, 730. May 28th, boozy brunch party at El Cid. Come on. And May 29th, 90s throwback slumber party. Get out of here. Oh, God said that is the 90s canceled Sunday. Oh, so, so God. Okay. Thank you. God. So less <laughs> chances to see it, which means you got to make any of those other events that Adam just mentioned. Exactly. Exactly. Then we're going to be going to Florida. Oh, and yes. Washington so. and Florida. Oregon. Huh? Was it's this already part of the podcast. That's no, hilarious. I, I had it. Oh, this was hiding <laughs> next. To well, Lila, so, you know, if you want to see this, oh come on God. out. Shalo to you too. Um, <laughs> I'm like, what? We got the garb, guys. We yes. got the garb, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's been it. Um, what's God saying? God, yeah, God is speaking. God is speaking to someone else. But um, I'm trying to figure out who made oh, maybe I wanted to do a shout out to the amazing woman who gave this to me. Just like gave it to me because Ursley was in her tail and she was sweating up something fierce. And she was like, goddess put this on and I was like thank you darling so I literally like skirmied underneath the table like my tail was out and I was like flapping the tail for entertainment purposes and I'm like shimmying out of it and putting this on which was so comfortable so we're trying to figure out your mermaid name but big big shout out to you for it first of all just like letting me have this this is insane that's insane I'm probably gonna use this for something freak nasty too you never know This is a family I podcast, Layla. Like do no, no, I do one of these? <laughs> Mermaids like to have fun. But... Yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, was that it? Husbands for nothing. Ursley <laughs> doesn't have three husbands for nothing. And mm-hmm. that's that's where we're going to leave off the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> Christine, are we good? Can we? God? Yes. God? Thank okay. you, God. Ursulyfilm.com, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Layla. Thank you, Elizabeth, for, for, for coming in the last few minutes. We love you. We appreciate you. Love um, you. We're going to try to do a podcast next week. It's, it's, it's getting hard. I'm sorry, you guys. We missed the last week and maybe the week before that. I'm not sure. <laughs> but listen, subscribe to the podcast. It's a free podcast. You get to hang out with us. This is awesome. So Ursulyfilm.com, getrealisms.com. You know what to do. Instagram, I got to go. I have to pee so bad. So okay, thank okay, you so much, nine. you guys. Everybody, 10 1. <laughs> thank right. you, you, guys. Learn what that means Peace out. Book. Peace, love. Bye. Get the Gay Realisms book, Facebook. We love you. Thank you so much. 